Today I will share some Canva tips and hacks to help you work more efficiently and easily. The first tip, if you want to duplicate any element or, or text, instead of going to duplicate button, just hold alt in the keyboard and drag the element as you want. And you can hold the option button in the Mac. And if you have any text with the specific colors and effects and you want to make another text with the same effects you don't have to copy all the effects just click in the first one and go to copy style and click in the second text the next step if you want to use the square shape as you can see when we want to resize it we lose the dimensions to take to keep the square with the same dimensions hold shift and the keyboard first then you can resize it and if you want to apply a left shadow just go to effects left and increase the intensity to 100 but if you want to increase more the intensity just duplicate the text many times and you can see we add more intensity and if you want to make this background in black and white and keep this person in colors without removing the background just click in this image go to edit go to adjust and go to select area and choose background and scroll down to saturation and decrease it and you can control anything in the background as the brightness the next step if you want to pick up a color palette from your image and apply it to your design just click in your image and go to design styles and scroll down and you will find the color palette for your image and just click and you can apply it easily to your design and if you want to tidy up images or text just select all and go to position go to arrange and scroll down to tide up and you can see we have now the same distance between all the images and we have images in the center and if you want to decrease the distance between all of them just move one of them and select all again position arrange tide up and if you want to freeform any image click in this image and go to crop and click freeform and hold shift and the keyboard and drag this handles like this and drag this one as well and click done and if you want to make a frame for an image click in this image and go to border style it's increase and change the color to white color but the problem that you can see we are losing a part of the image so the, there is another method just click in the image go to edit go to shadows outline let's choose white color and you can see we are not losing the parts inside the image and for placing a text behind a person there is two ways to do that let's type our text first let's change the font and change the color
and click on this image and duplicate it and then remove the background and second way to do that just click in the original image go to edit and click magic grab and select this person click grab and if you want to blend an image with the background just go to elements and type gradient graphics and scroll down to any gradient style like this and go to edit Tune custom and change the color pick up the color that we have in the background and you can duplicate many, many times to increase the intensity but if you want to blend your image to an image that doesn't have the same color just go to apps and type image blender choose this app and click on the image and click blend selected image and change the position of the points like this and let's decrease the straight And here is the results that we get. If you are using a font that doesn't support the bold effect, there is a simple trick to apply this effect. Just select the text and go to effects, outline, and decrease the thickness and change the color to the same color of the text. And if you want to mask anything in Canva, I'm going to show you a simple trick. Let's use this image. Let's make this person as a mask. Let's remove the background first. Let's increase the size to fit exactly the page. Go to edit. Go to due tune custom and change the color to black. And download this image just delete this one upload the new one and click on the image that you are going to use as a background and the images they should be in the same size go to apps click blend image use this app click in this image first and make it in top layer click use selected image click in the image that we are going to use as a background and use it in the bottom layer and choose screen in blend mode add to design and here is our results and in case you don't have a canva pro to remove the background i will show you a simple trick to make this background in white color and the person in the black color go to edit adjust and select go to select area and choose background and increase the brightness increase the highlight increase the white decrease the black make anything that will make your background in white color 
and go to the top again and choose foreground and make the opposite decrease the brightness increase the contrast decrease the white and increase the blacks and decrease the shadows and you can see you will have the same results